Hey, Jeff Yenser, Vibrant Health Researcher, coming to you from the woods in North Carolina. I love it here. It's a beautiful day here. Now, I get people asking me all the time, where do heavy metals come from? And how do they get in my body and how do I get rid of them? So I've drawn this simple little diagram here. And it is simple, but it gets the point across. This is our guy or gal. Take your pick. And what we have up here is lipstick. Now, Recently, in the news, there was an article about how lipstick, certain brands of lipstick still contain lead. So when you put that on your lips, it's been shown that you ingest some of that and the lipstick gets in your system and you are exposed to lead. Now the next thing on down we have is a uh, shot. This guy's getting a shot and like uh, vaccines, for example, are preserved with a preservative called thimerosal, which contains mercury. So in the last several decades, they've been giving people vaccines with mercury as a preservative. And of course, they want to they do more and more vaccines as time goes on. So what does that do to your dose of mercury in your body and over here we have dental amalgam fillings now I had 11 of these when I was a youngster and in actually in 2000 I had these removed I went to a dentist that really knew what he was talking about when it comes to uh, mercury uh, and removing these mercury fillings very very safely in a safe manner so I suggest you do your research there if you've got these and you're considering having a dentist take them out and down below that we have our uh, tableware actually the guy has a mug and it's got hot coffee in it and again in the US there is still certain types of tableware that contains lead so when a hot liquid goes in there it sucks out some of that lead and it goes into your body and again you're exposed below that we have the coal fired power plant within coal naturally exists mercury and when that's burned for energy it goes into the atmosphere and there's lots and lots and lots of this burned on a daily basis and do you think it just kind of hovers above the factory sorry to say no it goes around the entire planet even if you're in the pristine Rockies if you're in Cleveland if you're in Timbuktu wherever this mercury is in the atmosphere it's been blown around the entire world by the winds of the planet and you know so much so for so long that you know fish and that's where the fish get contaminated from is these coal-fired plants. Fish for a long time has had a warning, you know, certain types of fish, again, especially your uh, carnivorous types of fish, contain mercury. Pregnant women especially should stay away from these and even the average person should only eat so many servings. I like to stick with Pacific salmon, sardines, and herring and these have good omega-3 qualities yet they are very low in the toxins because they're low in the food chain. Over here we moving right along we have your ordinary house. Ordinary house dust is now many times higher than it's ever been in history. You know especially when your grandparents were alive you got much more lead in just average everyday house dust that you might have in your house. There are many other sources of these toxins in our world today. This is just the tip of the iceberg. How do you get rid of this mess? Well, this right here is a sketch of a zeolite molecule called clinoptilolite. It's formed when volcanic ash goes into salt water. It forms these minerals that have this cage-like structure, all these pores and tunnels, a negative charge, and they have a very high affinity towards mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, other heavy metals, and toxins that might be in your body. So when you ingest this, you actually attract to it heavy metals like lead, mercury, and so forth, and then you excrete it out in the urine, and you rid yourself of heavy metals. Now, how difficult is this to use? This is it right here. It's NCD. It's a liquid, a few drops on the tongue. I've done chelation. This is way, way easier and less expensive. It's way over NCD. I'm going to make another video about how this works and how the, the clinoptilolite molecule actually works in the body. In the meantime, go to realenergy.us and, and get yourself some of this stuff. It's wonderful stuff. I take it every single day of my life because God knows we are exposed to heavy metals and toxins like never before in history. And I want to protect myself for one. So find this at realenergy.us. That's realenergy.us. This is Jeff Yenser, Vibrant Health Researcher. Thanks for watching.